boys and girls. Today we will be talking about subtraction, but first we will talk about the TEKS on 14.2, which states, identify the relationship between the action of separating sets. And here what I want you to look at on the cover page is three different ways in which we can subtract. You can use a picture, you can subtract your numbers up and down, or you can also subtract your numbers going side to side, horizontally, left to right. First, we will talk about the definition, and you pronounce it as subtraction. So the definition states, the action of taking away a number from another number. So, for example, when you have two numbers, you have a number and you're going to subtract something from it. You take it away, and whatever is left over, that would be your answer. You can also think of subtraction as the opposite of addition. So just what you do with addition, you do the inverse of it and you do the opposite, which is subtraction. Now one thing you have to keep in mind is that there are several different ways in which you can talk about subtraction. Words that mean to subtract. Now I put here several on the chart and there are several words that you can use or phrases that you can use when you want to talk about subtraction. You can say minus, you can say take away, difference, less than. You can also use phrases such as how many are left and how many more. You can also say things such as what is the difference, that also means subtraction. So again, there are several different ways that you can use, several different words that you can use which mean to subtract. Today we will discuss three different methods that you can use when it comes to subtracting. This would be the first one and it says from a given collection take away a given number of objects. So for example here I have a picture of five hearts. Now if you notice two of these hearts have X's on them. That means that I have crossed them out. Now the reason we cross them out is because if you look down here to the sentence, it says five hearts, which is these right here, minus, again boys and girls, this word minus means to subtract, two hearts, which means I crossed out two of these hearts, equals three hearts. That means I have three hearts that are left over. So this is one example, one way that you can subtract. The second method states that you can subtract by counting backwards using a number line. So if you see here on this chart, I have a number line from 0 to 10. Now the problem that we used was 8 minus 4. So we start at the 0, we jump to the 8 because that is going to be our starting point. So from there, I am going to subtract 4 by jumping backwards four times. So I start at eight and then I jump seven, six, five, four. And here I stop because I subtracted four, therefore my answer is also going to be four. So here I have two different ways that you can write it. The first way that you can write it is side to side, left to right. Eight minus four equals four. Another way that you can write this problem is up and down vertically. You can also say 8 minus 4 equals 4. Both of these are the same and correct answer. The third method states, you may also use counters in a subtraction number sentence. So this would be the example of your counter. It states, Maya has seven hearts. This would be the picture, the counter that you would use for subtraction. She gave away four of her hearts. How many hearts are left? So again, you put it in your mind, right? And then you transfer it onto your paper and you draw your seven hearts. So you have to remember, Maya gave away four of them. So you can cross out four of those hearts. Whatever you have left over and didn't cross out, that would be your answer. So these are three different methods that you can use, boys and girls, when it comes to subtraction.